little bit early tonight because I made a boo boo. So uh, I didn't realize it till I just tried to get on and talk to y'all, and I I didn't I didn't schedule it. So probably some of you guys didn't get a notification. So I want to go live a few minutes early so you guys get a notification that we're live that way. That was my bad. So I uh, apologize for that. We're going to move this up a little bit and try and get the other knives in more view. Here we go. We're not going to talk about anything important until we actually hit 8 p.m. Because that's the time I told everybody this was going to be. Now let me see if I can pull up your, uh, your chatty chats here. There we go. Yep, sorry, I just screwed that up. I forgot to hit the schedule thing, so... Um, but now we're live just a few minutes early. Normally this is the time where I'm in the chat chatting with y'all, but instead I'm just doing it on here. So there we go. Yep, that, that, was, my, that was my fault. I just uh, forgot to hit the schedule button. So uh, my bad, my bad. Sorry for everybody who thought they'd missed it. Oh, there's you guys been talking for a while. My bad. I'm really sorry about that. Gee, it's been a busy day. Um, yeah, I've already done a video about the Prolix, Richard Fan. There's actually a, video, a review of that. Um, uh, we're not going to talk about uh, individual stuff and, until everybody's on. I don't want everybody to miss it and have myself explain it all over again because I said 8 o'clock. So wait until after 8 and then we'll talk about the three prototypes I have here to Todd Knife and Tool Wheeze and, of course, the Shadow. Um uh but hello everybody who's been waiting for a while sorry bo thompson jameson jeff Kahn, naf sergeant slick matt pearson a lot of the usuals on here uh, i guess i'll do the beer before we start nothing nothing well kind of i don't know i'm gonna say nothing special but kind of special i guess because you don't see it all the time uh, i'm getting I have a course banquet beer today i don't know i just i like this stuff i'm not always a fan of normal old you know, American beers, but I guess I have been lately. I've been drinking Jenny, and now this, uh, I like Banquet beer. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't like Coors Light or anything, or regular Coors, but the Banquet's pretty good. It's good enough for the Bandit. It's good enough for me. That's what I figure. It is the beer they were smuggling and smoking the Bandit. Uh, only the Banquet. I don't like any other Coors, but Banquet's pretty tasty. I do have to say. I was going to say um, it was the first Twist Top beer on here, but then, it, no, it was when I lost that bet to um, Metal Complex and I had to drink a Bud Light. That's the first the first Twist Top I had on there. At least I assume I got it out of a bottle. I can't imagine I drank it out of a can. I don't think I've ever seen the banquet around where I live. Yeah, it's pretty rare. So I saw it and I just grabbed it. I like the banquet. The rest of it's just water, but it's inoffensive water, though. It's not like some horrible aftertaste or something like that. Let me straighten this up. Uh, how's the blue Protect compared to the Mordax? They are not comparable. Everybody asks me that all the time, Jameson. Uh, the Mordax is such a big, so much of a bigger knife. Um, Action-wise, yeah, they're about the same, but uh, not really comparable. People always ask me to do... Uh, Malibu versus Mordax thing, and it would be kind of pointless. They are uh, very different knives. Uh, the, what was? What are we congratulate Triple East for? Oh, 2,000 subs! Congratulations! Uh, I really want to find a Thai Mordax. Yeah, me too, Nav Sergeant. That'd be awesome. I actually sold my Mordax, but I would. Uh, I'd get another one back again. If I, if the, if the right deal struck. Um, yeah, and I do have two Malibus now, and I, and I would sell my old one, because I do like this blue one a little bit better, just because I like the blue, and the reverse Tanto, I don't really, the blade shape, I don't really care that much about. Um, but, uh, the, uh, but the one that I have, I realized that it was the, one of the first ones off the line, and they don't do that blade finish anymore, so I'm probably going to keep them both for a while. Uh, do Patreon group AZ? Yes, they do. It is linked down below. Uh, just got the Birch Sea Sea Cant and Mini Slim Pickens in. Both are really good. I don't know what, the, what either of oh, I know the Mini Slim Pickens. I don't know what the other one is. Um, 
Protec makes an awesome blue. Yeah, they definitely do. It is uh, very, very pretty. And I like the shiny pocket clip on this one. It just matches it better. Yeah, but they only do the stone wash finish on the Malibus now. They don't do the uh, satin anymore. I guess the 20 CV is a pain to... How about them Jets knife guy? I'm annoyed. <laughs> I wanted them to finish 0-16. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pissed that they won. I know they're still going to get the first pick. That's locked in. But I kind of wanted them to finish 0-16. I wanted an 0-16 uh, uh, Jets shirt. Um... Oh, I just didn't catch what the other one was. Uh, Screaming Pirate. Um, unless, oh, you just some now. Okay. Uh, Spartan Aster, mixed opinions, to be honest. I have both coming, Naf Sergeant. They are both of the budget um, Spartans are uh, two of seven knives that I have lost in the mail right now. So, um, yeah. Pretty annoyed with U.S. Postal. As a matter of fact, we're going to be auctioning off two knives here later on. These two I'm going to be doing auctions for individually of them. Uh, probably, like, uh, after, like, about 8.20, I'll probably start the first one. Uh, but I will not be shipping them until after Christmas because the mail is just so insane. I'm not even going to do it. I have, like, three, three knives I mailed out to other people that are stuck. I have seven coming to me that are stuck. Some of them have been stuck for like a week and a half. So if you win one of these auctions tonight, it's not shipping until the Monday after Christmas. Because uh, the week from tomorrow. Because I'm just not even dealing with it. It's uh, so ridiculous. Yes, FedEx is still running on time. But uh, the lines are like out the freaking door to go drop anything off. I don't have the, the capability to do all the stuff home shipping stuff like I do with uh, USPS, so um, I'm just not. <laughs> there is one knife I sold over the weekend that um, I am going to be shipping out. You, uh, you, uh, probably, I'm sorry to offend you, Keith, but UPS tomorrow, because UPS is easier for me to get into. Um, but, yeah. Now, our, our Walgreens just has drop-off boxes ready. We don't have uh, like a counter. And uh, all the and they're all like little slits. They're not. <laughs> the drop-off boxes aren't like you can actually put boxes in. FedEx the official shipper is slicey. Okay, fine. I'll ship it FedEx tomorrow instead of UPS. But it's going to be a pain in my butt. Uh, thank you very much, Sharpen Blade. I appreciate it. It is now officially the start time. So we are up to 83 people now. So now it's the official start time. I'm sorry for the weirdness. I just forgot to hit the schedule button. It is my fault. So I have already shown the beer, but if you were just just joining up, uh, I'm drinking Coors Banquet beer here. And apparently everybody hates Coors. Everybody's bashing on it, but you know the Banquet beer is pretty good. I don't like all the other Coors, but this one's pretty darn good. I really like it. Um, so we're gonna do a couple auctions. We're gonna these two knives, and what we're gonna do with these, and we're not gonna do them yet. I'm gonna start the first one at eight twenty. Is the plan. Um, what we're going to do is I have a bare minimum I need to get out of these and then, which is pretty low. That'll be the starting bid. Anything over the starting bid, uh, goes to toys for tots. Cause they do have a drive tomorrow here. Like one last toy drive tomorrow. Um, I know it's getting really close to Christmas, but they do. And, um, whatever I make above that, I'll go. Stop at the ATM and stop by their toy drive and give them some cash. So, because uh, Toys for Tots is a great thing. So, uh, these are going to start very low starting bids, and anything over that, um, we'll we'll go to Toys for Tots. But we're not starting that till eight twenty. Um, let's talk about. Well, is there any knife sitting here that anybody wants to talk about? Because I didn't think I was gonna be able to uh talk about this knife for a while they sent it to me and they said don't talk about it and i've had it for like three days and then tonight they just surprised me and uh trm said yeah go ahead go ahead talk about it so um yeah i have a shadow i've had it for a couple of days um it is awesome um i am I know everybody says, oh, you're always talking great things about TRM, blah, 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 blah. It's just it's hype and met. No, this thing is just freaking great. It is, it's very slim. 
fills, but it still fills the hand just so well. And it is the ergos on this thing. The ergonomics are just amazing. Um, I cannot, I just can't, I can't explain how comfortable it is. Super, super slicey. I think the blade's like 3.2 inches. I don't know what the price is going to be. Um, but there's a little bit of lock bar stick, but it's really going away. Is it 200? I think it's, I thought it was going to be more than that, but I thought it would be like 220, but you might be right. Who knows? Um, a little bit of lock bar stick, but it's fading quick and it's not uncommon on, uh, these kind of axis style locks. And, and, uh, the, uh, the lock bar studs are a little sharp, but other than that, I just have zero complaints. I really don't I mean the action on it is amazing. The blade is super slicey. The price is right. So comfortable. No, you cannot scale swap them like you can other TRMs. Uh, that is one thing that you cannot do. I have not taken this part. Um, Mr. Shabazz is getting one, but his is stuck in the mail. So um, in, in purgatory. And when he gets one, he'll do a disassembly video. I'm not going to. Um, I know Axis Dialogs are pain in the buttocks. And we'll let Nick do that. Um... But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's so fantastic. I am just, I knew I was gonna like it, but I like it so much more. Riverlock, yeah, I think that's what they're calling it. Um, it's just the G10 is extremely well finished. That's what I thought in pictures. It didn't look that well finished, and I thought it was gonna be kind of uh, scratchy, but it is not. It is very smooth and just very comfortable, and love the blade. It kind of almost reminds me in like in use, not in looks, but in use of a Manix 2, like a really, really refined Spyderco Manix 2, which is a high compliment for me. I love the Manix 2. Uh, I adore it. So if I'm comparing it to that, uh, that's a that's a good thing. Uh, just as far as that hand-filling ergonomics, um, yeah. I have had no experience with that, Chris. I've heard, like, you and one other person talk about it. Um, I haven't had any... Any issues uh, with their with their uh, QC at all? Um, but though this thing is just and look, at, I love the new the new pivot they put on there. It's very pretty. This is technically a prototype, but they're making they're it, it was kind of they sent it to a couple of us to me and Shabazz, and if we found major errors, they would change it. I don't see any major things to change, so I don't think anything's going to change. At least that was how I understood it. Um, but same story with these two Todd knife and tool knives. So um, uh, full grip without the choil, yes, absolutely. But you're not going to want to do that. It's so much more comfortable up here. But yeah, you can. Um, these other two are Todd knife and tool designs. They are going to be made by Wii. Uh, this is the root kit. And the Roxy 3, and they are both awesome as well. These are definite, like, prototypes. Um, there may be a few little changes before they come out, but uh, these are super, super freaking cool. Um, I love the look of the Roxy, the little one when it first came out, but it was just too small. Um, this one is perfect with a 3-inch blade. Um, meant to be, a, again, a choke-up kind of knife. And the root kit is super cool. The root kit is, uh, both of these are front flippers. The root kit is just just running on um, uh, Foster Brown's washers. It's not on bearings like like everything freaking else is that you get out of Wii. So uh, it's kind of cool. And like it. So it's not like drop shutty, but detent's still good. You can still deploy it all the different ways as I screwed up. Uh, like that a lot. One little thing I want them to change on it, though, is this uh, these little bits back here when they're milling. They're really sharp but I think they did change that on the production ones. Uh, but it's cool to see a nice fancy knife from Wii with Foster Brown's washers, and the Roxy is a knife I've always liked, but now that it's a little bit bigger, it's actually way more comfortable in my hand. But um, just need to see if it's Seiko Arnie in USPS land. Hopefully it comes next week. Yeah, we'll see. I've got, yeah, like I said, seven knives. Seven knives, and five of them are stuck at the same place. Greensboro, South Carolina Distribution Center. Get your heads out of your asses. That freaking Greensboro, South Carolina Distribution, whatever something goes there, it always is delayed. Can I show all three closed? Yes, I can, I guess. 
So yeah, both these are front flippers and thumb holes. And yeah, this is obviously access C locky thing. Oh, this this beautiful knife up here, by the way, is a KAI, the the uh, parent company of uh, Kershaw and Zero Tolerance. It is a pure Kamachi kitchen knife in the Christmas motif with some penguins on it. Um, giving this away. So uh, if you stick around till end of the show, at uh, we're, we're going to start wrapping up at 8. We'll go a bit longer than that, but uh, we're going to start wrapping up at 8. At some point after 8, a few minutes after 8 o'clock, uh, you're not going to tell you when, an alarm's going to go off. And when that goes off, the last comment that I see gets this. This I will ship U.S. Postal tomorrow to try and get it to you before Christmas. I'm not sure if it's going to get there, but I'm going to make an effort because it's Christmassy. This is all painted on and stuff, um, but uh, th these things are awesome. They're pretty inexpensive. I bought seven of them for Christmas presents. So after nine, yeah, sorry, I'm not used to have started on this uh, thing. After, after nine, yes. I've been starting at seven for a while, so uh, yes. After 9 p.m., a few minutes after 9 p.m., a little alarm's going to go off on my other phone, and then, boom. Any word on TRM getting stock? Go to threeriversmfg.com, and it's the first thing in their fact on how to keep updated, and that's the that's the best way to keep updated. So, um, My wife's late brother's wallet was stuck in the same place in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, it's... That Greensboro, South Carolina is a whole. It, it just has been for forever. It, it's not just since all this l recent shenanigans and jackassery that's going on with the U.S. Postal Service. It's just like, it's always been that way. Um, I think TRK should sell e-gift certificates. It doesn't, you still have to buy it, so it wouldn't really solve anything. Uh, how does the river lot compare to the Hogue? I mean, this is still breaking in. It's brand new, but I would say it's actually pretty similar. It actually feels pretty similar. Like I said, it came in a little bit of lock stick. So have most of the Hogues that I've gotten. Um, but it, it's going away very, very quickly. I'm sure it'll be gone in the next couple of days, but it's, and it was never offensive levels. Now it just makes a little noise, but you can't really feel it. But, uh, it's, and it's so freaking sharp. Holy crap. I think this may actually get my son to stop carrying his buck 110. So, yeah, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, Marianne, I really need, I may, I may have to buy another one just for my son because I would love to get him off from his buck 110. Uh, what tier? It's the shadow. It is not out yet. Um, what's the Wii? There's two of them, so I don't know which one you're talking about. This is the root kit that's a Todd Knife and Tool design. This is the Roxy 3. There's no Greensboro, South Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina. So that's pretty sure it says Greensboro, South Carolina on my tracking thing. Um, Shadow and G card is going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Rennie, your son likes to carry a buck 110. I like to buy him a beer. Yeah, well, he's old enough now. Uh, but yeah, he loves it. Yeah, maybe it's in a fictional place. I don't know where where the hell Greensboro is between North and South Carolina. Um, one shipped from North Carolina and one shipped from South Carolina. And they're both stuck in Greensboro, where the hell ever. Uh, shadow full liners or cartridge liners like the grips. I would call them three-quarter liners is what I would call them. Pretty much full. Yeah, they're a little narrow, but they're pretty much the full length of it. Um, my shop's near USP distribution center in Norfolk. I'll yell at him for you. Yes, please do. I, I'm right near a distribution center too. Somebody said they have something stuck in Rochester. Yeah, Rochester's a huge hub and usually I get stuff sooner. I actually tell people to send me stuff first class instead of priority because I get it faster. Um, because I live right near a hub. Because if you ship it priority and it's three day priority shipping or whatever, I'm only going to, I'm not going to get it for three days. If you ship it first class, sometimes I get it in two, but, uh, no, it's, uh, 
not the case right now anymore. So, yeah. Hello, Jacques Knife. How you doing? Stuck here in Racha Cha your Switch. Well, I can go. I'll go get it for you. I may play uh, Animal Crossing for eighteen hours before I send it to you, but. Yeah, U.S. Postal is just immensely screwed up. And I'm done with it. At least till after Christmas. Hopefully after Christmas everything goes back again. But yeah, when I do these auctions, I do want to just remind everybody, these are not going to ship until after Christmas because I'm not even trying. It's been so ridiculous with U.S. Postal Service shipping that I'm just not even trying. I used to play Animal Crossing on the Nintendo DS. I have not played it on the um, on the uh, Switch. I don't have a Switch. If I did, th that's part of the reason why I don't have a Switch. Because I know if I bought one, I'd just be playing Animal Crossing for like 12 hours a day and not get anything done. Because I love that game. Uh, I just want my Malibu this week and I'll be happy. Yeah, we'll see. Um, any chance ProTech is going to put out different variants, colors of the Malibu? Yeah, I'm sure that this is going to be kind of like an anchor sort of model in their manual line. I'm sure there will be more. Uh, have a recent video on that Malibu? I don't, but I'm going to do one this week. Um, now that I have a second one, I was going to just do, because it won my knife of the year, you know, and it's priced in the most popular price category. So I was just going to do a video talking about the Malibu and my long-term experience with the one that I had and, and now what did I have? And now this one, cause I had a Warncliffe, black Warncliffe for, I've had it for a very long time. <laughs> BZ just got my PM2 Tanto. So awesome. Glad you got one. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of mad at them that they, um, they, uh, dropped it when they did. I think week before Christmas is crap. I don't like it when companies drop stuff week before Christmas, uh, when everybody's broke, and I don't think that model should have been a Blade HQ exclusive. I I think that was a bad decision by Spyderco. The PM2 Tanto is something that a lot of people were going to want, and to make it a Blade HQ exclusive, uh, I think it was a very bad idea. And then to do the second run of it, to drop it with the satin blade that everybody wanted in the first place the week before Christmas, was crap. I just not... Not cool. Not cool, Blade HQ or Spider Co. I think both of them bashed, just, just bashed that one, or botched that one. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Um, I know that sometimes people get mad about stuff, not be like TRMs not being available, and I stick up for TRM with that, but that, that PM2 Tanto drop was horse pucky. Yeah, I did hang around stock for a couple days in the half but still a week before Christmas, nobody's got any damn money. <laughs> so it's just like, it's a terrible time to drop it, and it shouldn't be an exclusive in the first place. When I was talking to Spider Co. at Blade Show in 2019, um, it was not going to be an exclusive. It was going to be a regular production model. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it was an exclusive of Blade HQ. So... They even told dealers that, that it, they were going to be able to buy it, and then they weren't. So, uh, Jack's Knife, ridiculous time of the year uh, to drop something I wanted, but I can't spend that money on myself week before Christmas. Exactly. No, I never even, I got my hands on with a prototype at, at, um, at a Blade Show, but nope, I haven't, haven't seen one, won't, unless somebody sends me one. And even then, now that it's at a Blade HQ exclusive, is it even worth doing a review on? I don't know. Uh, Michael Morgan, you see OCD's CME for compression locks? I did. That's kind of cool that he's got his own little thing coming out. Uh, tell me about it. I bought an Invictus IBL 495 before Christmas. Uh, blame Spider Co. for taking the deal. Ashcan. Oh, I do. I, I said it. Well, I said it. Both of them. I blame both of them for it. So. Um. Wonder if Sal is still EDC's a ladybug. I don't know. Uh, giveaway? Tell me. It's the knife at the top. We're going to be doing it after 9 p.m. Eastern, shortly thereafter. All you got to do is just keep talking. And after 9 p.m. Eastern, at some point, there's going to be a little alarm that goes off. And the first comment I see after that alarm goes off is going to win this uh, beautiful penguin themed Christmassy kitchen knife. Uh, thoughts on the Revo Ness? I think I did a video on that a while ago. It's pretty cool. 
Hey, Evan. Uh, who's flicking their knives right now? I'm not only because I'm talking to you guys. Normally, when I am when I'm watching other people's live stream. Uh, yeah, first comment after when you hear the alarm go off, which will not go off until after 9. What about them auction knives? Starting in one minute, and we'll do the first one. So, uh... Pocket checks. We're, let, let's get this auction started, then we'll do pocket checks. I'm not going to do the auction voice tonight, honestly. I'm pretty tired. And I'm going to let this auction, each one of these auctions run for, oh, we're going to say 15 minutes. They're not going to go very long this time. So, first one up, again, I'm going to give you a starting bid. That starting bid is the only money that I'm keeping from this. The rest of it goes to Toys for Tots. So, um, they're having a another toy drive tomorrow pretty near my house and you can just bring cash and I'm going to do that. Whatever there is above this, I'll just take out of the ATM tomorrow and give to them because it's coming right towards the holidays. So they need stuff, but Toys for Tots is great, great cause. So, and I'm, I'm too lazy to actually go and physically help them out. So giving them some money uh, will be nice. So first one up is this DPX Hest Urban Mill Spec. So this is one of the USA made ones, made by Southern Grind. Um, it has a CPM 54 blade, a G10. This one has the polished blade, which I don't see on their site anymore. I think they just did a few of them. Uh, so they go for uh, 280 in this configuration. I'm gonna start the bid at 180. That's the opening bid. All you gotta do is just post down below. We're gonna let it run for 20 minutes. Just say what your bid is. Highest bid wins at 180. Anything above 180 goes to Toys for Tots. So that is the opening bid. 180. Again, I know it's the week before Christmas. We just talked about that. So uh, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go, and that'll be fine. And I'll figure something else out. And next, and then the Hogue deck is going to be the next one coming up. So, but we'll start out with that one. So 180 is the opening bid on that, and that's all that I'm going to keep out of it. Anything above that. Goes to the tots. MJ in for 180. Cool. Anyone who outbids uh, MJ just goes just goes to the tots. And uh, when I'm when we're done here, MJ just email me. I think I I know your your email address, but email me slicey dicey seventy five at gmail dot com. Whoever wins. Uh, great deal. Yeah, get in on this. Um, who's the dog? Oh, the dog in the background is my neighbor's dog. By the way, not to, not to, uh, Sharpen Blade 185. Um, not to be a downer. Thank you guys so much this week for, I know there haven't been a lot of videos this week. I have to apologize for that, but, uh, I think a lot of you know, uh, my dog passed away on Tuesday. So, um, it's been a hard week. So, uh, I just wasn't up to it. Um, I was very, very sad, very upset. And, um, and then it was my wife's birthday yesterday, so it's been a week, ups and downs. So um, thank you guys so much. Everybody reached out and was uh, was really nice. Uh, I really did appreciate it. Um, she was an amazing dog and just lived a good long life. We just try to look forward to that. So the bid is one eighty five on this right now. Again, so far five dollars to Toys for Tots. Anything above one eighty goes to Toys for Tots. Um, all dogs go to heaven. I don't believe in heaven for humans but i put i choose to believe in it for dogs <laughs> so uh, yeah um and thanks chad i appreciate it dad duty's coffee good night enjoy that chris and it sucks first dogs on our last legs yeah it was bad um is the tino handle same as the regular it is i think pretty sure it is i know there's something you can't sw i know you can't blade swap them but I think I'm sure you. But I think you can't swap the handles. Um, dog heaven is totally a thing. I'm choosing to believe that. Bid bid bid. Yeah. Right now it is. Uh, sharpen blade with one eighty five. Sharpen blade one eighty five. John right in for two hundred. See, I'm doing the voice. Look, I'm perking up a little bit. So uh, yeah. John Wright in for $200. It's the high bid right now. 
no person is pure enough for heaven, only dogs. <laughs> worthy. It's a good way to look at it, Jack's Knife. I don't know. I've seen, I've met some dogs who I don't think are worthy of heaven. Uh, please show, explain again. I just did it like uh, four minutes ago. Uh, this is a DPX Hest Gear Urban uh, mil spec. So it has the G10 scale, the titanium handle, and the uh, CPM 154 blade with the polished edge. Was goes for uh, retails 280. Currently, the bid is 200 to John Wright, and uh, 20 of that will be going to uh, Toys for Tots because they're awesome. Um, yeah, you just got to post your bid in the comments. We're going to let it run for another, what, 16 minutes? Is that a bottle opener in the back? Yes, yes, it is. I have reviewed, I have recorded a review of this. I haven't put up yet, but I have reviewed other DPX tests uh, before the titanium version of the Urban, which is. Uh, um, which is uh, the exact same size, if you want to go ahead and find that. Um, just so we're clear, everybody has permission to bid on these knives from their better halves, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't want that crap happening again. Uh, EDC, the bid is already up to 200. I just said that. What are we bidding on? God, God, people, pay attention. I just said it. Uh, the DPS Hex, DPS Hest Urban, uh, Mill spec. God, I can never remember. It's Urban Tire or Mill spec. There's a bunch of them. Um, oh, at EDC 202 bid 250. I missed that. Oh, no, he bid 150. He was being, making a joke. He was trying to be a Mr. Funny Pants. Which we always really like it when people make jokes during the stressful auctions. That's really fun for Keith and I when you do that. So please keep doing that. Sarcasm. My condolence for your girl was rough and still when my my girl female dog Carmela. Yeah, and we've lost um we've lost four or I mean we lost three dogs in four years, so it's been tough. We have no more dogs. We just have cats. So um and that's the way it's gonna be for a very long time. I'm not getting another dog for quite a bit. I slog down, you have a shadow. I do. Um, but it's a quasi-prototype, so I still don't know when they're coming out. Don't ask me. I don't know when they're coming out. I, I think next month sometime. I'm not sure. Um, next month or the month after, I'm guessing, but I don't know. Cats are entertaining at EDC 202. That's why I like my cats. They're just entertaining. Like, you don't have to entertain them. They just walk around and do stupid crap. Uh, how's the handle texture on the Prolex? Uh, pretty good. I did a video about it already. Um, all doggos go to a better place than the sucky planet. I hope so. I hope so. I hope that all of our dogs that we've lost in the last four years are... It's not because we're bad dog parents. It's just they all got old at the same time. <laughs> so it just... Uh, yeah, it was just tough. And the Great Wallaby, that would be great. Thank you very much. If you can't afford the charity, yeah, kick in Toys for Tots. It's a great charity. Um... Don't like cats too unpredictable. That's why I like them. They're entertaining. They just do weird stuff. And you're like, what are you doing? You freaking weirdo. We have one that's very sweet and nice. Little boy. He's great. Um, I love him. And then uh, he's like my little shadow and runs around and sleeps with me at night and everything. He's awesome. And then we have this one, the uh, Piper, that's more my daughter's cat than anybody else. And she's just a weirdo. It's this little tiny thing and it's just crazy. Um... She'll be very sweet and purry one minute, and then the next minute she just rips your hand off. Uh, currently doing maintenance on a Hogdaka. Cool. Um, the bid is currently 200 on the DPX Hest to John Wright. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate that. I won't get... The, don't, don't donate that way. Donate If you want to donate to Toys for Tots, go straight to them. If you donate that way, I'm not going to get it for a month. <laughs> and I'll only get 66% of it. Another shameless woman at Knife Review Plug. It would not be a Bruised and Blades if he did not do that. Um, it, uh... Any plans to watch the replay of WTLC? It's like, yes, I will. I, I like, I always watch it later and then so I can at least, I don't start it till it's at least three quarters of the way through so I can skip all the crap of which there's going to be a lot on this one. 
I'm getting so done with WWE. Like I'm an I love AEW, but WWE is getting kind of done with it. Except for Roman Reigns stuff. The Roman Reigns stuff is awesome. Um I can't believe they made him cool somehow. Be a giveaway on this love stream. It's a it's a live stream, but uh yes, a few minutes after nine o'clock an alarm's gonna go off and um one of you guys is gonna win this. The first comment I see after the alarm goes off. Um, which will be t off the time sink and all that stuff, so don't get upset about it. But uh, how about that Mandalo that Mando episode? It was fantastic, but I don't want to say anything more about that because I don't want it to get spoiled. I got a partial spoiler from my sister of all people who doesn't even watch the damn show. Uh, it's a love stream. Um, I think that's more that's more your bag, TPK. Uh, this is a course banquet beer. Ooh, there's a new Grand Tour. Yes, there is. It's not that great. I was not. I'll spoil that Grand, the new Grand Tour. It wasn't that great. They've definitely done better. Uh, so true about how cats are. My my girlfriend's cat is shy around everyone except me, and my girlfriend's sister's cat is acting like a daughter's cat. Yeah, they're. I love them though. They're entertaining to watch. My idiot cat today just found a piece of paper laying on the floor because we're like, you know, it's Christmas time. We're wrapping presents and stuff. That was exactly the size of him. And he just curled up into a little ball and laid on this piece of paper in the middle of the floor and wouldn't get off from it. And it's just like, what? just because it was, he thought it was the same size as him. <laughs> just like, what are you doing? Whack job. I was slightly disappointed as well. Still good, not fantastic. Yeah. Um,. What time you say the timer is going off? Sometime after 9 o'clock. I don't tell you what time the timer is going off because that would uh, defeat the whole purpose of the randomness of it. Uh, <laughs> I love finding things the same size as me. Yeah. Uh, Brian, 20CV bare knuckle or S30V bug out? They're kind. I think you might have messaged me about that, Evan. Somebody asked, asked me the same question. I have time to reply. They're kind of really different knives if you have them in your hand. I I don't the twenty the bare knuckles the much more kind of durable, bigger sort of knife, and the bug outs much more lightweight, smaller, not nearly as heavy duty. They're kind of really different. It depends on what you want. Uh, what do you think about the M4 940? Was annoyed that it has a coated blade and the hideous jade scales, so I did not get one. Um, uh, being an old western show called High Chaparral, I don't know the characters pretty well now, before my time, but don't know what that one is. Um, what, what bench may be good for the Navy, because my dad is going to gift one to me. Um, well, not one of the M4 ones, because you're going to be in a boat. Um, something that's, uh, I don't know if when I was in the military, I mean, I was in the air force, it's kind of like being in the Navy. We don't fight a lot. Um, <laughs> I probably would have liked to have had a 940 or a, uh, bug out, preferably a custom one. Uh, please show me the Wii root kit and where I can get one. You can't yet. This is, they just decided to go into production, so it's going to be a while. This is the, uh, prototype. That's why it says, uh, we're talking about prototypes. Um, but yeah, you can't get one yet. I don't know what it's going to cost. I don't know what's going to come out, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, little, a couple little things, like I said, the sharp edges on the back that I wish they'd change, and I think they probably will. But, uh, because again, this is just, even says, it even says prototype on it and very... Yeah, and very nice little script there, which I think is kind of cool. I don't get to keep these. They have to go back. Um, yeah, and after 9 o'clock, we're going to... We'll, we'll start talking about our usual random subjects. We're going to try and stick on the subject of knives until 9 o'clock. I know we already drifted off into TV show stuff a little bit, but we're going to try and stay focused on knives until 9 o'clock. Um, have you ever handed any of the Hogue manual button locks? Yeah, I have. A couple of them. Um, when will you do another idiot in a belly that I have no idea. There's so much stuff coming out that I'm just, I'm kind of swamped. So the current high bid is John Wright, $200 for this DPX Hest Urban 
mil spec. Got it right this time. Uh, with the polished blade, which uh, apparently is pretty rare because I haven't seen one since. Um, but that is the bid. We have just a couple more minutes left on that. We're going to call it. And then we'll move on to the uh, Hogue Deca, which I kind of have a feeling we'll get a lot more bids. Um, again, same thing. I'll give you guys a uh, an opening bid, and anything over the opening bid goes to Toys for Tots. Uh, do you still think the Para 3 S110 is the best Para 3? Rennie, I think that is, f is for the PM2 as well. I think I'll, that's the best bang for the buck is to get the uh, the 110 Blurples. As long as you're not offended by the color, which why would you be? It's practically purple, which is the best color in the world. Um, then, yeah, get that. It's like Spider Co. Benchman and we had a threesome. You're, you're always mine in the gutter, TPK. You are reliable that way. <laughs> um, uh, da, da. Oh, it's fine. People come and go, Lone Wolf. I snip at people about that sometimes, too, but um, it's fine. People come and go, so... They don't know that it was already asked five times. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely never changed, TPK. I just, just pointed out. Your mind's always in the gutter. It's fine. It's a good place to be. Glad to be reliable, yeah. All right, here we go. So that is the end of this auction. So, John Wright, please respond here to let me know that you're on here. And please email me at... Slicedice75 at gmail.com, and I will send you the payment instructions. I will try to do it while we're on here, but yeah. John Wright, please respond to this uh, here so we know that you're here. All right, cool. So email me, Slicedice75 at gmail.com. I will email you payment instructions, and yeah, as I said up front, this is not going to go out until after Christmas because uh, it just will sit. It'll just sit, and I don't, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to go through all that with everybody, so. All right, second one. We're starting this. We're going to let it go another 15 minutes again. Second one again. I'm going to give you a starting bid. Anything above that goes to Toys for Tots. I'm going to start the starting bid very low on this one because, honestly, I don't have much money in this one at all. Um, got, a, got a really wicked good deal on this, so I don't have much money in it, so... This is a Hogue Deca that they go for, I believe, 140. Uh, I'm going to start it out at 80. So opening bid is 80 bucks. Anything above 80 bucks goes to Toys for Tots. So 80 bucks on this one. You have 15 minutes. Just post down there below. 81 five dollar increments, please. I don't want to go through all that stuff. So 95 to Evan is the highest bid. 95 Evan right there. Five dollar increments, please. 95 is the high bid right now to Evan B123. Hundred dollar to Rogue Piston is the highest one now. Uh, Rogue Piston already has a hundred dollars, Deborah. Uh, you guys are all bidding a hundred. Somebody already did that. Rogue Piston has a hundred. One twenty to Victor Nishamito. Uh, it is it is uh, U.S. only. I don't know by your name if it's um if you're not. So TPK one hundred forty so doesn't matter doesn't matter anymore. TPK about you. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is U.S. only. Yeah. And again, just a reminder: not going to ship till after Christmas. I don't want I don't want stuff to get lost in the mail and just be parked. Is it by PayPal? I prefer Venmo, but we can do. I can do PayPal as long as you do friends and family, because it's going to charity. I don't want fees taken out, but I infinitely prefer Venmo. TPK high better at 140. The busty woman in the back of the room bids 140, and that is not being sexist, that is her job. EDC22. I don't know if you're making jokes or not. Please stop trying to make jokes while we're doing the auctions. It's really it's 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 confusing. Um I really like TPK wins so we can get some pictures. I don't think that the black G10 is gonna Patina. Well, I, I'm not. I don't take payment that way. I told. I just told you. Um, M4 Baylor or Osborne for Navy? Uh, not M4. You're on a boat. <laughs> That's M4 is not, not a uh, not corrosion resistant. 
uh, I, w I would say just the regular S30V one or the S90V. <laughs> she can try, we can watch. Yeah, it's true. I show what does that take off? The kids want me to watch Rudolph with her, so I gotta go. I have fun. It's a good holiday thing to do. 3V also not corrosion or resistant. 3V especially not corrosion resistant. Slick. I have a Tucson and S90V and love it. Is it S90V though? I'm sorry. I had to take a shot. If you watch Cedric Nada's test of a Tucson and S90V, it was pretty clearly not. I did review it, but um, I didn't. I didn't do a like test with it or anything. I saw Cedric Nada's, and it was pretty shocking. Uh, Hogue Decca and twenty CV would be perfect for Navy. It would be, but he was talking about Benchmade. So, um, is S thirty V better than S thirty five? No, I would. I know S thirty V. S thirty five is very is considered to be um, higher than. Uh, then S3V for a good reason. Um, TPK is the high bidder now, $150. $150 to the, to the buxom woman in the back. Buxom is the word I was trying to come up with. There we go. That's a good old timey word for big boobs. Uh, you must not be a fan of Prolix. I'm not getting rid of it. That's not what I'm auctioning off, Evan. <laughs> That's not it. It's the DECA, not the Prolix. Um, I love old-timey words. They're my favorite, especially old-timey insults. Well, she can... No, she can outbid herself if she wants to. Keith, it's fine with me. It'll be another uh, G.I. Joe figure or something that some little kid gets. But who gets G.I. Joes anymore? What a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Um, I'm just doing two auctions. They're not, not, these all are not getting auctioned off. I'm just doing two. Uh, just had a, just have a bunch of stuff out to keep everybody talking, but it is not, those are not getting auctioned off. Are you giving me the hi hat? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> I also like overly gratuitous sweary British insults too I can't say the one that is my favorite but I say it around my house all the time uh, what's the Wii with the carbon fiber? It is a prototype. Uh, it is the uh, prototype for the Todd Knife and Tool designed uh, Wii Root Kit. Which is a um, front flipper on Foster Brown's washers. It's pretty interesting from them. Uh, you don't see it very much. Rick Hender or Chris Reeves, your pick uh, depends on which one you want. Um, I think Hender has a bit more variety. Um, I, pref I have more Henderers than I do Chris Reeves, but there's not really a reason to have a whole lot of Chris Reeve knives because they only make a few different variants of kind of almost the same thing. So um, there's just not a reason to have as many of them. But I have eight Hinderers and three Chris Reeves. Uh, so I see your sign a lot better. I hope you're feeling good also. Getting there, yeah. If you mean health-wise, I'm, I'm pretty pretty good health-wise. I actually had a really, really good week health-wise. Emotionally with the doggo and all that stuff, not so good. But um, yeah. Overall, yeah, health wise, I'm I'm uh, just about back. I haven't tried to do any real like physical labor stuff to test it, but we'll see. Uh, you guys think ProTech is gonna make a new blade shape from Malibu in twenty? I think the new blade shape, but I just think they're just gonna make more of them. <laughs> I think that is what their plan is. Uh, finally got a half track warning is awesome. I I can grab that. I have an extra spot now. I still have mine out here. Is it in this, in the case. 
Yeah, and I think he just got more of these in at USA Play. I think you can actually just go there and buy one right now. So, um, yeah. TBK needs a work sharp variable angle adjust. It's the infinite angle adjust, I think. Or there's the variable one, too. I can't remember. But the infinite angle adjust is the one I like. Where is it? Precision adjust. The precision adjust is the one I like. Uh, Bowie Malibu would be cool. Yeah, they don't, I, I'm surprised they did two blade shapes of this already. I, I don't think you'll be seeing another blade shape anytime soon. Uh, what's your favorite Hogue? Um, probably the Mini Ritter. I like the Deco a lot, too. You guys know I'm selling this Deco, but it's just because I'm going to get another one. It's I still like the Deco a lot. One of those two. Uh, ZT0640 or Chris Reeves Benz. The 0640 doesn't come to mind what that is. I don't think I've ever had one. It doesn't doesn't pop into my little head. Um, I will pay for play for TPK for the Christmas knife since she made a generous offer to the tots. So you're gonna pay for it? I don't understand. That would be great, but you guys. You guys talk amongst yourselves about that. Uh, we got, what, five minutes left here. What are your favorite wallets for EDC? Um, I have one well, in my pocket today. I've got a... Uh, same to you, Ed Medina. Um, oh, by the way, it was a nice thing. I wasn't being rude to him. I wasn't saying same to you. Um, the Open Sea Gun Deck. I like this a lot. I also have a Top Sider somewhere. And also... Um, uh, where is it? Do I have it up here? Yeah. Uh, just got one of these and I really like it. This is a uh, Night Heron Leather. This is the American. Um, and it, this is a really great wallet too. I really do like it. This is the Italian Leather one. Um, but I really do like the, uh, this Night Heron American because I'm one of those. Play for her, pay for her. I don't understand what you're saying, Randy. Um, Uh, any good advice where to buy used Hinder or Frank? I think a couple of people answered you Reddit or um, Blade Forums is good too. Um, oh, Lori's on. Yay. Yes. Happy birthday. I posted her, uh, her cool cake yesterday on the Instagrams and a lot of you said happy birthday to her. She is 26 years old. Uh, Hinder versus Strider. No, I don't don't have don't have a Strider. Won't be seeing one on the channel. Um, the Nafs drop wallet, yeah, but it's. I just think if you put any compound on it, you just it's going to be a mess. Uh, where do you go to sell your knives? Websites? No, I have a. I sell them on my Patreon in here. I don't go to the websites anymore. But I, when my site comes out next month, then you guys will be able to sell stuff there, and it'll be it'll be great. Um, so we have three minutes left on this auction for the Hogue Deca. We're at one hundred fifty bucks to TPK. And again, uh, seventy of that is going to uh, Toys for Tots. So anything else above eighty bucks goes to Toys for Tots. So. Okay, so is the cake one big donut or made up of a bunch of donuts? That's a good question, Sharp and Blade. That's like that thing, do you want to fight a chicken the size of a horse or, what is it, 20 horse-sized chickens or whatever? No, it was just one big donut. And it was delicious. It was really good. It was just one big regular, like, uh, um, like bready kind of donut. It was fantastic. It was, what, 8 or 10 inches? Something like that? Um, don't really get, get the NAFS wallet. I wear a leather belt. If I really need to strap something I had to use, yeah. Yeah, you do sound like an Uncle Randy Jocks, but I thought the exact same thing. So it's I don't wear leather belts, but I just thought, isn't every wallet a strap wallet if you need it to be? Like, I could, I could totally use this, the back of this, especially. It's like nice, soft leather. But I just think that one that had it's in the inside of it's meant to be loaded up with compound, which yeah, that would make it better. But if you load up the compound, I just would think I'm gonna destroy all my cards. I might be wrong. I don't know. I love Ben, but that just looked kind of I didn't understand that one. I didn't understand it. Two minutes left. TPK is the high bidder at $150. Uh 
No leather belt, huh? You a suspender guy? No, I'm a guy who buys pants that fit kind of guy, JR. Somebody else said that in the thing and like really snottily to me, like that you must do one or the other. No, I just, I mean, I'm wearing a belt right now because I have old pants that don't fit, but, it, but it's not a leather belt. But I just, uh, no, I just buy pants that fit. Uh, and I don't like carry a gun or anything like that, so I don't need, I don't need it to be like ridiculous. Um, if you use two compounds, they would contaminate each other. Yeah, you're right about that too. Um, how many knife flips before you have to maintain it? I don't know. I haven't really counted. It depends on it. Is that kind of like that? How many licks to the center of a tootsie roll pot? One, two, three. Uh, I don't wear a belt. I wear stretchy pants with strings. <laughs> See you later, Lori. I'll be down in a while once we're once we're done here. Uh, um, the three twenties. I I've not tried one of those. I would. I I am very intrigued by those. I always. I told somebody the other day that all all knives with gun um with gun names on them are crap, except if they're made by Hogue, and then they're great. I have a 511 tactical belt, but I carry, so that's why. I, uh, Logan, I have one of those, too, and I don't have any pants that it fits on, including my own 511 tactical jeans don't fit. So. Yeah. I do carry hinders, but I just have pants that fit. So it uh, it just works. Um, best jogging pants carry. Um, you know, I, I always, I like, objectively, I like the bug out more, but I always carry the pair of three lightweight more often for that kind of stuff. Um, what are the Todd knife and tool knives the, these two it's pretty once you know their design language they stick out quite a bit but uh yeah this is a roxy three and that is the uh, root kit um some of the hk oh uh, yeah the hk benchmade stuff was cool too yeah um the root kit is great i have no idea when it's coming out and neither do they they just decided to officially like produce it um uh very recently uh, like in the last couple of weeks. So I don't think they're even sure exactly when it's going to come out. And the auction is uh, over. We have it goes to TPK for 150 bucks. So uh, please email me, slicedicey75 at gmail.com, and I will give you payment instructions and all that stuff. Yeah, the, all the, both of these are great. The Roxy 3 and this are. I loved the Roxy, but it just didn't fit my hand quite right. Um, wasn't there TPK the exploit front flipper? Yes, there is BD Swaim, and um, I have one stuck in the mail. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but the Roxy 3 is cool. I love the Warncliffe blade, I love the overall look of it, but now I have the now it fits. And TPK, I will shower you with stickers as well when I send it. That's a very that's like 10 bucks over retail, so it's very nice to do that because all the money's well. All the money over the starting bid goes to Twice for Tots, so very cool. Sorry, I'm very irpy today. Oh, thank you. You don't have to thank me. You you paid you paid ten bucks over retail. That's awesome. That's very cool of you to do that. So we're eight fifty two. I'm gonna start set a I'm gonna set a timer here for a random time. And. Uh, da, da, da. I'm on my old phone, my old timey iPhone 6, so I'm trying to remember how to. Oh, I don't remember <laughs> where my own settings are. Uh, it's just different. Let's just do that. Come on. Sorry, I know technology, but not old old technology. There we go. 
So we're just going to do timer, and I'm just going to pick a random amount of time from here. We're going to do that. So when this goes off, when this goes off, you only have the iPhone 6. No, that's my old phone. I have, I'm on an 11 Max or an, an XS Max or something like that. Or an 11 Max. I can't remember which one I have. That's my old one. Uh... I'm missing some stuff. Let me go back through. 12 Pro Max is the way to go. I'm going to get one someday, but I never buy them in the first run, so I let, let them go through. Probably next month I'll get one because I want the, the better camera. And I hear the microphone on the new ones is amazing too, so I, I would like the better microphone. XM18 3.5 regular, XM18 3.5 skinny. I prefer the skinnies, but I have, I have two of each, but... Um, I think just for carrying, I prefer the skinnies. For modifying and stuff, the regular one, obviously. When this goes off, what? Yeah, that's for the giveaway. I've explained it a bunch of times. Some At some point shortly after 9 o'clock, that's going to go off, and then I'm going to give away a knife, and then we're going to wrap this up. Just thinking of iPhone 6 or 11, we should realize that we... All live like kings and queens in this great nation. Wow, that's a, a pretty uh, bold statement, Rennie, just when we're talking about phones. <laughs> um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think I missed some. Would you recommend the Malibu or the Mordax? You're the second person to ask that tonight, WS, and they are not the same knife at all. Uh, two totally different things. If you want a beefy knife get the mordax if you want a a good edc knife get get the uh uh get the malibu um the, yeah yeah the the mordax is kind of it's big in the pocket it's pretty thick behind the edge freeman 451 or mordax did i do a battle of the death with that it feels like i did if I didn't, uh, Mordax. Is the Launch 11 the best as far as value? I think so. I, I think the Launch 11 is definitely the best launch of all of them by far. Looks like Penguins from South Park. It does. It does. It's, it is a KAI, which if you don't know, is Kai is the parent company of, um, of Kershaw and, uh, and ZT. It is called a Pure Kamachi HD Limited Edition. Um, but it is painted on the blade, so I don't think you'd want to, like, be, I mean, I'm sure it's all food safe, but when you want to be doing heavy-duty kitchen stuff with it, it'd be cool for, like, cutting cakes and stuff at Christmas. It's not an expensive knife. I bought seven of them for my in-laws and everything. What's your favorite video type to make? I'm not sure I really have a favorite video type. Um, I guess the battles to the death. Uh, Evan B. You did not because I did not, still didn't understand what you were talking about. TPK one. Um, I think the knife is a great addition for Christmas. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I almost, I should have bought an extra one for my wife too, but I didn't. But I got it for all my like sisters in law and my sister and everything. Um, 451 may not cut as good as some and has a pretty brash styling but man i like it it is cool dustin undeniably the 451 is pretty undeniable is pretty undeniably cool can anyone see my comments no freedom fan i can't see your comment um give it to your mom if you win and, uh, yeah i got one for my mother-in-law too so they're just cool. I, I discovered it. I was, I was a guest on the um, uh, Knife Nuts podcast, and they were Dave was going off about it, going on about how cool they were, and it's the finest piece of cutlery ever made. And I looked them up the next day, and I bought seven of them because they're not expensive. I just thought it would be good Christmas. I was like, all women I know, done. 
<laughs> Christmas present wise. Uh, this bell's going off at 9.03. I don't even know exactly when it is. I just picked a, a number of minutes. I didn't do the math. I just scrolled to a number of minutes that I knew would be past then. I can tell you it is not 9.03. If you are known as a knife guy, are you required to gift knives? Kind of, yeah. Kind of a bit. Um, He'll never see this. I got my brother-in-law a... Um, Cold Steel Spearpoint XL, because I just wanted to get him something stupid. <laughs> so I got him a big Cold Steel Spearpoint. He'll think that's hilarious. Alex Rosa, what is your safe queen? Don't have one. I carry and use everything I've got. Or I don't keep it. That's why I don't do um, uh, customs or anything, because I would be tempted to leave stuff and... Uh, I'm going to grab it. Is the full-size bug out comfortable for large hands? Yeah, let me grab mine out here. I have uh, pretty skinny fingers, but I have normal-sized human palms and large-sized gloves, and it fits very well. This is the custom shop one, but the size is the same. But no, it fits my, my hands very well. XL hands you might not, but... um. Uh, since mom beat cancer, all the holidays, holidays are too extreme. Yeah, I could see that happen. This is my first Christmas without my mom, so we're going to see how that goes emotionally. But uh, I cannot predict what I will feel like on that on Friday, but so far I'm all right. But we'll see. Um, uh, can you recommend any carabiner style clips to hold keys and small edc teams in my belt loop i don't know about belt loop sized ones i like the night eyes ones for smaller stuff but um i was thinking saying it's a knife that killed kenny oh no you're fine you're fine lone wolf it's it's all right i've it, it happened in august i've had some time to time to accept it I'll probably just be Irish and turn my emotions off that day. But it's also my last Christmas with my kids. Like, because they're at the age where they're not going to be living here anymore. Uh, what's currently your most expensive knife? Um, it is the... As far as stock... Now, one of my hinders I might have more money in than this, but I don't think so. Um, this is my... Uh, Microtech Combat Trudon Hellhound with a distressed finish, I think, is probably because this was 683 bucks. I remember because one of the perks of this job is I will say I don't usually pay retail for knives. Um, this one I did, I paid full boat, so I remember every single dollar of what it cost because it was lots, but uh, it's super cool. 680, yeah, 683, but I liked it. I carry it way more than I thought I would. Um, what's your favorite Christmas knife you ever gave away? Um, I was probably that that counterpoint or that Spearpoint XL that I just gave my brother in law this this year. He hasn't even got it yet, but uh, it's uh, it's just cool. That it's, and it's you know who knows what's gonna happen with Cold Steel. It's uh, who knows who knows. So uh, yes, yeah, Combat Trudon. It's the big one. Uh, how do your wife handle that purchase? She's fine with it. She knows that I have a channel, and she doesn't worry about knives when they come in at all. Um, not at all. She gets annoyed by the watches a little bit. I have a harder time convincing her of that. <laughs> but uh, um, the the knives, she's completely fine with because she knows that I get most of them at wholesale and I sell them off, and I make I make more than I spend. So that's all that she cares. Um, duh. just need to start posting more watch content then you're right I mean I don't know this this one is uh, I still don't know what I'm going to pay for this one yet but I know that I am and after the first there's going to be a very 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 big knife sale and part of it will uh, we'll be funding this so um uh john h what do you mean what's going with cold steel they got sold to a big giant conglomerate so um dude damn dude you got a planet ocean well it's not mine yet it's it's kind of uh 
Nice Illustrated homepage goes to spam. I'm not an employee there anymore. Jordan, I, I quit working there, so I can't can't tell you about that. Um, yeah, it's a it's a 2011 Planet Ocean, um, which is smaller and a little thinner. I like that. Um, it is right now a loner. It's kind of like a semi permanent loaner that I've been. The guy has encouraged me to make an insulting offer to him to buy it. I don't even know what an insulting offer for it is, so I just don't know. But it is. I've always wanted an Omega Seamaster. It is like my grail, and this one is freaking perfect because it's the. I want the older one because it's slimmer and a little smaller, and I have tiny little wrists. So, yeah. Um, is that giveaway knife painted or just cover? It's painted. Um, offer eighteen hundred. You know, John, that's not far off what I was thinking for it because it doesn't have. It's got papers, it needs a service, and doesn't have the box. So that that, that is pretty close to what I was going to offer. I was thinking 300 <laughs> is what I was thinking. So. Didn't Nick teach you anything? Nick, is, Nick sits on a throne of lies because he tells everyone, don't get into watches, but then he'll sell them to me all the time. This is this is not his. This is this is somebody else in the knife world that saw me complaining about not having one, and um, a lot of you people. I think a couple of you are on here. It was funny. Uh, it was it was actually I, it made me laugh. Um, just when I turned on my Instagram feed a few weeks ago, there was like three people in a row that had um, uh, pictures of knives with. Omega Seamasters, and I really have always wanted an Omega Seamaster, like, since I knew watches were a thing, and, uh, I've always wanted one, and I just posted in reply to one of them, does everybody have a Seamaster except me? And then, literally 32 people over the course of the next day and a half posted pictures of Seamasters and tagged me in them, just to make me mad, and... But then one of them followed through and said, "Hey, I'll here's a picture of mine. I don't, I haven't worn it in seven years. I'm gonna send it to you. Keep it for as long as you want. If you want to make me an insulting offer, make me an insulting offer. I just, I'd rather have have it be in the hands of someone who cares about it. So, knife community comes through again and is awesome. And for now, I have this. But." Yeah, so in the future, the format of this show is going to be after 9, we talk about whatever. Stay focused on knives, 8 to 9. After 9, we're just going to talk about whatever. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, did you ever say what the blue one was? This, the knife, this is a uh, Protec Malibu. No Seamaster here. I did watches. I don't anymore. Um, but if I, if I went up with this... My next most expensive watch is like a six hundred dollar um, Seiko Alpinist, so I'm not that crazy with them. Anything new done to your truck lately, Sharp Blade? Nope, just new boots. That's it. Put some new boots on for the winter. Could not manage to get winter tires for it. Really annoying. I got some pretty aggressive all seasons, and um, they're fine. Uh, what's the deal? The Roxy Three bigger version? Yeah, it's, I think there was a Roxy Four, wasn't there? Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I think it's like the midsize version, but yeah, definitely bigger than the original Roxy. When's your Netflix special? I don't know when I'm going to be able to do stand up again, Mark Miller. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to be able to, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do a show at a VFW hall, <laughs> not to mention getting on Netflix. Uh, any Land Cruiser lovers here? I love Land Cruiser. I'd love to have one, but, um, I do not. We have him look at the giant mouse. Oh, there's a thing. Jock's knife. You are the winner because I was just answering what you were saying. You get the penguin knife. So uh, email me, slicedice 75 at gmail.com. You get the penguin Christmassy knife. So there we go. VFW Hall's three dollars well drinks. I love VFW Hall gigs, man. I they're some of my favorites. Uh, Jackson, damn, yep, 
that's just I set the alarm for a random amount of time, and that's that's when it came out. So yeah, shoot me an email, slice dice seventy five at gmail .com, and I will get this out on the way to you on the morrow. It may be lost in the mail for two weeks before it gets to you, but there you go. And the other two of you, uh, TPK and John Wright, I'll be sending you payment instructions. I am got this up pretty soon, but um, <laughs> USPS for sure will lose. They lose everything. That's why I said the other two knives that you guys are paying me for. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to get paid tonight so that I can give uh, Toys for Totten money tomorrow. But um, other, otherwise, uh, yeah, they're, they're not going out until after the holidays. Or after Christmas, anyway. I'll probably send out a week from tomorrow. Uh, did I mention I've taught my cat to sit and shake hands on command? That's pretty good one minute knife review. I've got mine to like, mine will uh, roll over. What are some other knives with wire pocket clips? Uh, several spider coes, most of the giant mice. You do a stand-up show for us one day, Mark. Well, I've tried to do one here and like, I had a whole, we had it all set. And um, it was supposed to happen in November. I was going to have a big get together and uh, hear like a meet and greet and then have a show after and like everybody hang out and show their knives to each other and then have a, uh, a comedy show afterwards and record it and put that, you know, up here on the channel. But um, didn't work out, obviously. So I uh, couldn't do that. But uh, I do have a stand up video on the channel here already, um, but I'm not. I'm not going to do, like, a streaming show. It doesn't work without people. Um, what was... I don't know, I'm going to try and make it happen in 2021 for sure. But... Because there are a lot of you guys are here in the upstate New York area. Upstate New York, eastern Ohio kind of area within driving distance. Yeah, it's Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Uh, is everything auctioned off? Or yes, it is. We are all done. Live cast it. See, we do have the capability to do that at the club. Maybe we will. But I want people to come, too. So I'm not sure if I will or not. Uh, do you still have your Chris Reeve knife? I have three of them, so I don't know which one you're talking about, Josh. I have a large and cozy, small and cozy, and a... Um, uh, Yep, the whatever night one. Oh, I was going to, yeah, I wanted you to email me. Yeah, I never got an email from you, Josh. It's slicedays75 at gmail.com if you were still talking about the thing you were talking about. Favorite Christmas movie, everyone's Die Hard, which is a freaking Christmas movie. Rennie, happy Festivus for the rest of us. Uh, you might want to watch the channel on Festivus. Um, there may be, there may be a, uh, an airing of grievances on Festivus. There is going to be, because I already started recording it. But, um, yeah. On the 23rd. You were, I thought, I thought, Josh, I thought you were the one talking about you were looking for a very specific knife for your son or something. Maybe I have the wrong person. But I replied, hey, email me. And I didn't hear from you. Because I have, I have what you're looking for. Um... 2020 brought many grievances. No, it's going to be my grievances with you people. Yeah, exactly. I've got a lot of problems with you people. It's going to... I'm not going to name anybody specifically, but it's going to be all the things that you guys do that annoy me. <laughs> so, in the spirit of Festivus. Okay, Josh, sorry. It had... It was a the same Scandinavian sort of last name. I, I got confused. I apologize. Come fight me in real life. No, I'm just going to yell at you over the internet. Like take a shower during the live stream. Oh yeah, are you nice and clean and sudsy Freedom Van tonight? And then maybe next Festivus I'll do my airing of grievances against knife companies. What's the Wii knife on the far right? The farthest right one is a Roxy 3 uh, that is not out yet. All three of these are prototypes. These are, don't know when they're coming out. I think the Roxy 3 is pretty darn quick. 
Don't know about the root kit. And then this is a Three Rivers Manufacturing Shadow, which is fantastic. Is it going like a roast or legit? It's just like a roast. It's all in good fun. It's not anything really bad. If if, if you've made me mad, you know, you know about it already. It's just uh, the types of comments that annoy me is the is the thing is the theme of it a uh, review of, on the shadow i'm not going to be doing a full review on this until i know when it's coming out which i don't know once they announce the date then i'll uh, i'll have it oh you made the list keith you don't worry about that you made the list um you're the only specific person called out is keith <laughs> And he knows why. He knows what he did. So when's the Roxy 3 coming out? Pretty soon, I think. I don't know. Uh, bring the warning to the middle. Why? It's fine. You can you can see it. Um, I'm going to be actually wrapping this up here in just a minute. So uh, an OCD for EDC. I apologize if you see this. Um, I know that you guys go live at 8. And I, I hold... I hold uh, I tried. I used to try and start at seven, so I'd be done. But you know, just making dinner and stuff for the family it just doesn't work. Um, I'm always rushing around and eating earlier than everybody wants to, and all that stuff. I'm the, mostly the cook around here, so that, I can't do it at seven. It's just a pain in the ass. So, um, so that is it for tonight. Go over to OCD for EDC if you want to keep talking about knives. Go hang out with him and his lovely wife. It'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, this time slot, 8 o'clock is what it's going to be. And if I run over past 9, I run over past 9. But their starts at 9 Eastern. Go hang out with them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I definitely did. It was a lot of fun tonight. Thank you all very much for buying some stuff and giving some money to Toys for Tots. I appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Have a good one.